Level Run for Your Life is often thought to be the worst level to get sent to, or at least the most dangerous one. I mean, you're getting chased down a hallway with thousands of entities crawling after you. You can see why. But then there are other levels like level 666 or level 0.1 or the Red Rooms. But the level in today's video dethrones all of these levels. And I think that it literally takes the cake as the legitimate most dangerous and unsettling levels inside of the Backrooms lore. Level negative 250 is the name. And you might want to buckle up for this one. That's all I can say. Anyway, sit back. Try to relax. Don't know if you can, but let's get into the explanation, shall we? This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is trusted by over 9 million men across the globe for all their trimming, boxers, liquid formulation, and grooming needs. And it's pretty easy to see why after getting my hands on the Performance Package 4.0. Which of course comes with the Lawnmower 4.0, designed with its ceramic tipped blade to reduce cuts and nicks while trimming. It also comes with a light if you want to shave in the dark, or if you just want to have a closer trim. The Lawnmower 4.0 is also waterproof, which means you can use it in the shower. It also comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer designed with a 7,000 RPM motor to cut back all that nasty hair that might be poking out of your nose that nobody wants to see. It also comes with the Crop Preserver Cream and the Crop Reviver Spray, which I personally have used for over a year now. These things are the nectar from the heavens above. You also get this cool shirt these anti-chafing boxers, and this bag to carry it all in. So you get all that stuff I just talked about in one little package. And if you want to pick up a box for yourself, you can go to the top link in the description or go to manscaped.com and you'll get 20% off and free shipping at checkout if you use code BRUGLY at checkout. That's right. You will get 20% off this entire box, all that stuff I said, plus international free shipping just by using code BRUGLY. That's a steal. But once again, thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring. Let's get back into the video, shall we? Level negative 250 of the back rooms is a very, very deep negative level. And as most of you know that watch my videos, negative levels are very unstable and volatile as it is. But the deeper they get and the further from zero they get, the worse they become with their environments, their features, their creatures, and, and so on. That rhyme, by the way, that's pretty cool. So negative 250 is classified as a class not alive wink wink zone due to its numerous hazards presence of lethal creatures and entities and its overall just unstable environment i apologize for not being able to say d-e-a-t-h in the videos because i'm already going to be skirting demonetization with this video so i got to censor myself where i can or youtube would just slide me across the face level negative 250 should never be entered intentionally or accidentally for that matter just never come here as the majority of people who wander here are never seen again. The level consists of several abandoned sidewalks that sprawl out over a large area. The sidewalks curve around and branch off into thick growths of dark forests, and they'll splinter off even more inside the forest as well. Each of these sidewalks extends out for undetermined lengths, and they also cut into different types of sidewalks. When you get to this level, the first thing you'll notice is that it's got a red coloration to it. You'll also look around and you'll see these randomly put electric poles, and you'll also see the red sky just above you. The red sky has been described as staticky and volatile. It's almost like you're looking at a screen up close. You know how you, when you do that, you can see all like the individual pixels? That's what the sky looks like here. And the forest that surround the sidewalks and the poles is very dark, almost pitch black. And the entire time you're here, you'll get this very unsettled and uneasy feeling from walking around. You can see why the environment's terrifying. At first, you won't feel as if anything's wrong. You don't see any weird creatures, and the sidewalks just seem to be strange, yeah. But to be fair, most of the backrooms is weird, so nothing really is standing out right now. But that all changes a few short moments after entering the level. Because right after you spawn here and you start walking around and observing the surroundings, you'll begin to hear faint rustling in the leaves. The rustling is obvious, since the level is actually pretty quiet beyond that. But once this rustling noise is heard, a wanderer's paranoia and anxiety will skyrocket. You'll feel like something's moving around every time you move. You feel like something's over your shoulder, in the periphery of your vision. But when you look over there, you won't see anything, and it's just a pretty bad place to be. After a few minutes of this, you'll start to think your mind is playing tricks on you. Continuing along your walk down these dark sidewalks, you might run across a few random buildings and a few abandoned shacks with these alleyway type things sticking out of the trees. These alleyways need to be avoided at all costs, as they're most likely traps for smilers and other entities that lurk in the darkness. Wandering even further into this red hellscape, 
you might come across the base of one of these electric poles that's sticking up out of the forest. Now, sometimes these poles can be very dangerous because they have exposed wiring just dangling down from them. So if you see some exposed wiring, be sure to avoid that, unless you just enjoy the nice, tingly, warm, fuzzy feeling of being tased by a billion tasers. So yeah, avoid that. And also avoid the alleyways, like I said. But even the alleyways, the exposed wires, the dark forest, the red sky, none of that is dangerous when it all comes down to it because the real danger here lies with the creatures themselves inside this level. Of course, the level itself is you know, scary and dangerous and not safe, and I'll talk more about that later, but the entities here are awful. Entities known as predatory pylons lurk here. Now, you might not know where they're at when you get here because they blend in with the electric poles that are in this level, and they pretty much are indistinguishable from the physical appearance of the pole. They're wiry, they're spindly, but they are flesh and blood creatures and they can move around the level and crush you underneath their huge bases. They typically move when you're not looking at them, which might account for that rustling noise that you kind of hear when you get here. It could be one of them taking a big step and then stopping by the time you turn around. But these entities are the main reason that you should never ever stand still in this level at all. Make sure you're always moving around, make sure you're trying to bob and weave, that way you don't get stepped on. But it's not just these pylon entities that are bad, because it gets even worse. Now, this is not in the official page for the level, but there's been unconfirmed reports of strange, large, shadowy creatures swinging and jumping from electric pole to electric pole. These entities are said to be giant humanoid shadow creatures that are only discernible from their eyes that glow in the darkness, and they typically glow pretty bright. The entities are completely silent, and they make zero noise when they swing around, and they attack wanderers by reaching down from the poles with their really long arms, and with one quick, silent motion, they scoop them up to never be seen again. Again, this entity is not confirmed, and it has no official name or classification, but there's been multiple reports, multiple pictures of this entity being talked about, so I'm going to choose to believe it's real, and I'm going to choose to warn you about it. Just know that it makes no noise, and it blends in perfectly with the black trees, try to keep your eyes peeled. So besides the strange pole creatures, the shadow entities, the static red sky, the abandoned buildings, the pathways, everything like that, the level also has some non-entity dangers that I hinted at from earlier. Because there's a place deeper down in this level only accessible through an unknown pathway that's been nicknamed the Chromal River. This is a dark red liquid river that cuts through the forests of the level. A strange misty smoke comes off this river constantly, and the river itself is extremely volatile and toxic to be around, especially to touch the water or breathe in the mist that comes off the top of it. It seems to be similar to the compound from real life, chromal chloride, which is a chemical poison here on Earth. But that doesn't matter because, you know, this isn't real life, it's back rooms. But the main thing you need to know is that this liquid should never be touched, never be jumped in, never be breathed in or anything like that, as the toxins in this chromal compound can get inside your lungs easily. And if you touch it, a series of rashes and bumps and blisters will start to form all over your body until you become this one huge fleshy mess. This one massive growth of pus-filled human flesh. Now, due to this river being so dangerous to be around, it's recommended to never leave the path that you start on, no matter how scary it seems. You gotta keep going. Don't look back. No matter what's behind you, no matter if there's a giant electric pole walking or if there's a shadow creature swinging from pole to pole, never look behind you. So believe it or not, this level is actually a pretty new discovery, and we still don't know much about it, but we already know of several dangers that pose threats to life. So in order to avoid being snatched up by a shadow figure or stepped on by a pole, you're going to have to exit. And you can do so by finding a dumpster in one of those buildings I mentioned earlier and getting into it and trying to escape. But whatever you do when you're here, do not try to no clip through the sidewalks in the level, as it's thought that if you do this, you will get sent to the void as if, you know, it couldn't get any worse. So you have to go to a dumpster to noclip. To enter this level, for anyone weird enough to come, you have to noclip through a five by five meter wooden box 